welcome students today we are going to learn about ocular drug delivery system part 5 which is concerned with ocucert so ocucerts are sterile controlled release formulations that extend medication residence duration and prevent nasolacrimal drainage now as you can see in this picture this is an ocucert okay now what is the ocucert it is a sterile dosage form okay and it is made it is prepared for controlled release okay so from this ocucert the drug release is in a controlled manner and also because this ocucert is to be placed into the kaldi sac its residence is increased and uh, the because of increased residence the bioavailability of the drug is increased okay now the major advantage of this type of dosage form is that there is no nasolacrimal drainage okay so the amount of drug which will be released from this ocucert it will move into the uh, vitreous humor okay through cornea through this scleral uh, tissue okay through this subconjunctival tissue so major part of the formulation or major content of the drug it will move into the ocular tissue okay so an ocucert roughly it contains of this four parts this is the outermost these two are the outermost transparent and release controlling membranes okay now this inner layer it it contains the drug so we can say it is the drug reservoir and this is a ring okay now this ring it has major function to play and it's only an important role is to to Uh, give flex uh, to give uh, support to this uh, particular ocucert okay so because of this ring uh, everything the membranes and the drug reservoir they will be in place okay so now let us see in detail what are uh, different uh, things related to ocucerts so as i've already told you that ocucerts are sterile these are either solid or semi solid formulations and these are designed specifically for ocular delivery now this is a drug filled uh, dosage form okay so drug filled dosage form along with polymers okay the porous membrane it is made up of polymers okay so they are drug filled polymers and they are to be placed into the eyes lower kaldi sac area ocucert enhance medication contact time with conjunctival tissue to sustain continuous dosage release drug release Ocucert is a drug reservoir which is sandwiched between two microporous membrane sheets. Okay, uh, lacrimal fluid when uh, lacrimal fluid is present into your ocular tissue, uh, ocular cavity. So when the uh, lacrimal fluid it will penetrate through the membrane, microporous membrane. So it it will take out the drug uh, with it. Okay, so the lacrimal fluid penetrates the membrane. and it controls the medication release so it is we can say it is diffusion controlled uh, medication delivery system ocucerts extend medication duration improve bioavailability and decrease dosage uh, frequency improving patient compliance now what happens once you insert the ocucert because of the presence of lacrimal fluid because of penetration of the lacrimal fluid the drug is released in a controlled manner okay so now the drug release is in a controlled manner it is sustained so the duration of release is prolonged and because of that there is improved bioavailability okay now as the release is for a prolonged time there is decrease in dosing frequency now as there is do decrease in dosing frequency it has very high patient compliance okay so you can deliver an ocucert you can place that ocucert in the cavity for some days to some weeks to some months okay what are the advantages of ocucerts they have they show increased contact time with the ocular surface and hence there is increase in drug bioavailability the drug release is a, is in a sustained and controlled manner it's because of extended drug release it shows better efficiency only in terms of bioavailability okay uh, it it is a method or it is a system which gives accurate dosing it has less systemic effects why because the drug which is 
uh, which will be released from that uh, formulation or that ocucert it will move into the ocular tissue okay very less amount of drug will go into uh, into the systemic circulation from some conjunctival membrane and uh, no drug will move through nasolacrimal drainage okay now once the drug it goes into na nasolacrimal duct uh, it is absorbed into the systemic circulation and because of that there occurs side effects so uh, as we are avoiding passage of the drug into the nasolacrimal uh, duct there are less chances of systemic side effects uh, also because of this the dosing frequency is reduced unlike the conventional dosage form it overcomes the effects of re repeated administration of a conventional dosage form there is increased patient comfort and compliance it is easy to handle vision and oxygen permeability are not interfered now the ocucert is not going to come over your lens okay so the vision is not obstructed it shows reproducible results it is a sterile preparation so there is no chance of infection the drug delivery is stable uh, the system is stable and it shows better therapeutic performance due to lack of water in the formulation shelf life is improved when compared to aqueous solutions and major barriers like drainage lacrimation conjunctival absorption etc they are avoided okay what are the disadvantages there might occur accidental loss of the ocucert while sleeping or rubbing the eyes for a while the patient he feels uh, irritation or presence of foreign body in the eye removal of the ocucert can get difficult due to unnecessary relocation of the ocucert to upper fornix of the eye it is not as easy to administer the ocucert in the eye and also it, its removal is difficult when it is insoluble ocucert dislocation of ocucert in front of the pupil can occur and it can hamper your vision ocucert can twist into the eye okay which can decrease the rate of drug delivery there might occur leakage from the ocucert okay now let us see the classification of ocucerts as per the solubility ocucerts are classified as insoluble soluble and bioerodible now what is insoluble means once you place this ocucert into the eye cavity after the drug release is complete you will have to take it out and soluble means there is no need to take out uh, the uh, ocucert remains because it it gets solubilized into the eye and last is bioerodible means what means uh, drug release is it occurs due to erosion of the polymer membrane okay so insoluble uh, ocucerts are again of two types reservoir system matrix system soluble ones are of um, uh, it depends on what type of polymer you have used if you have used natural polymer or synthetic or semi synthetic polymer bio erodible are sodi and collagen shield okay so we will see all of these types in detail so what are insoluble in ocucerts this type of drug delivery system it gives or it releases the drug in a controlled manner but after the delivery of the drug you have to remove it from your eye cavity okay insoluble ocucerts are of two major categories the first one is the reservoir system means what in this system the drug is enclosed into a polymer membrane okay so in this system drug release occurs due to diffusion or osmosis okay it may be coiled colloid gel semi solid liquid solid matrix or a carrier now what are diffusional inserts here the drug release is diffusional the ocucert insert is permeable membrane for medication delivery osmotic insert means what it contains an osmotic agent okay these consist of a center component surrounded by a part and may be classified into two groups type 1 is innermost section is drug reservoir because it is a reservoir system okay and it is surrounded by polymer now this polymer may contain osmotic solute now because of this osmotic solute what will happen the fluid it will move into the uh, drug chamber and it will swell and as the drug chamber will swell because of that from that semi permeable membrane 
there will occur drug release okay so due to osmotic pressure matric apertures open and there occurs leakage of the drug the second type is it is a two compartment system one compartment contains medicine and the other os uh, contains osmotic uh, fluid means what this is a compartment this is the innermost core okay now it is divided into two compartment one will contain drug and the other will contain osmotic fluid oh, sorry osmotic agent or osmotic solute so what will happen as the drug uh, sorry as the fluid it will move into the this osmotic solute uh, component it will swell okay now as it will swell it will apply some pressure on this drug compartment and this from the semi permeable membrane there will occur release of the drug okay because of this osmotic pressure okay so in this way the drug is released next is matrix system a 3d matrix holds water okay now first one was reservoir type and this the second one is matrix now matrix system it holds water or aqueous preparations or solids so this system contains hydrophilic or hydrophobic cross linked polymers okay means what it is a mixture of drug and polymers okay mostly these are used for vision correction contact lenses so this mechanism corrects eyesight while releasing the medicines the next type of occurrent is soluble occurrents so the soluble inserts or occurrents they are homogeneous polymeric occurrents that dissolve and release the drug in the eye gradually so hydrolysis of enzymes or chemicals causes dissolution and erosion of that polymer so owing to tear fluid penetration occurrents drug content is released due to swelling and chain relaxation resulting in drug diffusion okay so this type of this soluble type of system it gets completely eroded or completely dissolved into the eye and hence there is no need to remove it after the drug is um, released okay so it just get dissolved on its own now next is um what type of polymer you have used okay one is natural polymers and second is synthetic sem, uh, sem, synthetic and semi synthetic polymers so collagen is utilized to manufacture soluble ophthalmic inserts so in natural polymers collagen is the choice of polymer occurrent first it is soaked then it is dried and before application it is rehydrated okay so the amount of medicine in the occurrent it depends on the preparation's concentration soaking time and binding agent concentration so this medication is released when the collagen dissolves into the eye when you use synthetic or semi synthetic polymers um, so, uh, uh, at that time also the drug is uh, the drug will be released as the polymer is dissolved okay only in this case some uh, synthetic polymers are used like cellulose derivatives and synthetic polymers like polyvinyl alcohol these are mostly used okay also you can coat the occurrent with eudragit now why we can coat it with eudragit what is the need to further uh, slow down the release of the medicament next the last uh, type of occurrent is bio erodible bio erodible occurrents employ cross linked gelatin and polyester derivatives so these polymers they have key benefit and that is their final structure may be changed either during manufacture or by adding anionic or cationic surfactants so that you can change the rate of erosion okay so bio erodible occurrents include soluble ophthalmic drug insert that is sodi sodi so it is a small oval wafer which is made to use in wetless conditions as eye drops cannot be utilized in this conditions next is collagen shield okay collagen is found in bones tendons ligaments and skin it makes about 25% of mammalian body proteins so this insertion must be applied on anesthetized cornea with the help of blunt forceps okay 
so this was all about the occurrences thank you